What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Straw Hat Show. We're taking it back. We're taking it back to a throwback track. Y'all have requested us to react to many Ren songs, and this is a throwback track that I feel like might just be a gem. You ever listen to an artist's catalog and they just got those those tracks that only the true fans know about? I have a feeling this is gonna be one of them. I can't lie, I'm pretty excited for this one. Um, everyone keeps saying this is a different side of Ren, different side of Ren, then again, every side of Ren is a different side of Ren. But anything that has the word love in it, I expect for it to feel good, to either be poetic and to just have me feeling like, man, I had a great experience, so. With that being said, let's get right into Love Music Part 1. And now this is what I love when I can't stop loving Go out dancing from 10 till 6 in the morning Chatting coaching to strangers all night And then waking up with the best memories of your life for it's a moment when the music hits my soul lifts And my smile radiates a simple joy and a bliss My life is this Chasing a dream to make it big I dream of playing festivals and being top of that list I dream of 10,000 people singing all my lyrics I dream of sitting backstage with Stevie Wonder sipping drinks Dream of making an album called The Greatest Hits I dream of watching records flying off the shelves of the kids It's a lot Interesting. Okay. Interesting It's kind of like a poppy, poppy vibe, you know? Yeah, I mean... This is interesting. Threw me off, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. You know, Love Music Part 1, I thought he was going to maybe just automatically start talking about a girl or a significant other of some sort. But instead, he's talking about dreams he has. You know what I mean? Dream of playing a show for 10,000 people. Mm -hmm. Dream of being backstage with Stevie Wonder. Sipping drinks <sighs> with Stevie. Sipping. Wonder how. I wonder what Stevie drinks. Comment down below, what do you think Stevie Wonder drinks? What do you think Stevie Wonder's favorite drink is? Yeah. And let us know. And then he's also talking about um, this one I really like. I dream of making a album called My Greatest Hits, you know, as if he's already made a bunch of hits and now he's just making a compilation album. Just, so. just the forefront of like what all of us artists aspire to do, uh, us included. And I think in the beginning, he also he was talking about like, Spending some time with a girl, sharing a dance with her, or something like that. Was he talking about that's that? What I, that's what I heard. Let's 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 rewind that back. Love when I can't stop loving. Go out dancing from ten till six in the morning, chatting coaching to strangers all night, and then waking up with the best memories of your life. For it's a moment when the music hits my soul lifts, and my smile radiates a simple joy and a bliss. My life is this: chasing a dream to make it big. I dream of playing festivals and being top of that list. I dream of ten thousand. People singing all my lyrics I dream of sitting backstage with Stevie Wonder Sipping drinks, dream of making an album called The Greatest Hits I dream of watching records flying off the shelves of the kids It's a life that I want to be living So I'll be giving mind, body, soul Until I'm freaking seeing this vision I'm feeling this mission Feels like I was born to be spitting And so I stay so dedicated like an ancient tradition Whoa, be yourself and you'll be okay I know this life can be tough But a smile is just a button away Let's play with just one touch Wherever my scars turn to grey And life starts getting too much I don't know not you not I love this music so much mm. That has like a Bob Marley vibe. Well, I was gonna just tell you right now, it's got a reggae, a Roots reggae vibe to it. I hear it so well because I love Roots reggae. Mm, he really does. I really do. I've been to a ton of concerts, nothing like a Roots reggae concert, but um, the the bop of the song, you know, what you bop your head to, boom, 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 boom. It's got that Roots reggae vibe, that Roots reggae bop, that boom, 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 boom often done with a keyboard, boom, 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 hitting those keys. Um, and uh, even some of his vocal cadences and his tones, <coughs> We're kind of like in between singing, speaking, and of course he goes in and out of rapping, but very much what they do in reggae music. He started reaching that soulful pitch in his voice. We call it the uh, life frequency pitch that life lots, of, lots of, yes, lots of roots reggae artists uh, touch into. And I think that roots reggae 
is actually music that replicates the frequencies of life. You go up, you go down, you go up, you go down, mm. like the bop of the roots reggae. And oftentimes the subject matter is very, it's like deep subject matter given to you straightforward in a simple way. And I think that's what Ren is doing here. He's just telling you what his dreams are, what his aspirations are, and anyone else who's ever had dreams of aspiration or aspirations are definitely relating to how Ren is vibing right now. Mm. So. This video is sponsored by absolutely nobody. Ain't nobody paying us to do this. At least not yet. So please take some time to check out this quick message from us because we're sponsoring ourselves. What's up, everybody? We just wanted to take the time out to say thanks for watching the reaction. We also wanted to take the time out to introduce you to who we are and what we do. We're Straw Hat Dynasty, a twin breakdancing rap duo from NYC. We've worked years now in cultivating our ability to make quality music, quality music videos, breakdancing, and overall entertaining. We pour everything we have into every song, every video, in order to provide you with the best entertainment experience possible. So if you would take the time to check out some of our original music, our content, and follow us on all platforms, we would super appreciate it. We're just two brothers following our dreams, and we appreciate your support as you join us on this life journey. Thanks so much. Now back to the reaction. My scars turn to gray And life starts getting too much I turn on that tune out I love this music so much I don't ever want to end up in the 9 to 5 Working a full time job Just to try and move on If I ever gave anyone any advice Would be to follow your dreams Until the day that you die And I'm not fussed about as I can live the way I want Keep your mansion, keep your beamer I don't want them As long as I can live happily And earn a comfortable life For my family and me mm, My man is preaching yo. He's preaching, man. yo He's like, yo You know, I don't want to live a 9 to 5 I don't want to work a 9 to 5 Just so I can survive Nope You know, just do what you love Be yep. happy But being rich Don't make you happy either I just want to make enough To support me and my family And do what I love it's as simple as that. It's a beautiful message, and I love it so much, man. Yeah, I love it. I can. Oh, and also before you know, uh, before he went into that second half, he was doing a, a technique that a lot of uh, jazz musicians do, do called scatting. Like jazz, right? So you know, but he was doing his own version of that. You know, just kind of like you, that's how you can tell that this man studies music yeah yeah i often notice in a lot of his other songs too he warms up to the song by kind of just playing with his vocals and you know messing around with his voice mm. in ways that are just like let me just <clears throat> let me just get this out of here i'm warming up i'm about to kill this track so let's keep listening because this song is making me feel good You're making me feel good Lost about being rich either As long as I can live the way I want Keep your mansion, keep your beamer I don't want them As long as I can live happily And earn a comfortable life For my family and me And be free For life it's never ever set in stone That's why I never followed anybody's fools for my own I always did things through love And respect for myself But if you bring people down Then you're reflecting yourself But if you bring others up To places they couldn't reach Then your rewards they'd be much more Than you could earn in a week And your potential has no bounds Please take it from me That's why I swear you can fly If you don't even that was beautiful. Ooh. That was beautiful. Uh, you know, I just love what he's what he's talking about. You know, he's saying, you know, if if you can take people up, bring them up. Don't bring them down. That's only gonna affect you in a negative way. You know, um, just this whole follow your dream, follow your passion, do what you love. I mean, if you wake up every day and you're not doing what you love, you know, I mean, and what's doing what you love doesn't even have to be your job. You know, you can have a job. And you can still do what you love. But if you do what you love, right, you'll be happy every single day, no matter what it is. So, you know, most of us, or at least we are, but a lot of us would love to have our job be what we love. But some people don't need that. Mm -hmm. Point is, do what you love. And and, and I, I understand love music part one. It's not about a girl. It's not about a relationship. It's maybe well, it's about like his relationship with life and the things that he loves to do, mm, and in a sense, maybe even himself. Because mm. you have a, you have to have a good relationship with yourself mm. in order to do that, you know. Because he said, "I never follow anyone's footsteps but my own," which 
I hell heavily respect. Mm -hmm. You know, that way you take charge of your life. And then another line he said, which I like, he said, if you could uplift somebody instead of bringing them down, then I think he said something like, you'll, you'll, you'll get more of a reward from that than what you make in a week. I believe that's what he said. Say what he said. All right. myself, but if you bring people down, then you're reflecting yourself. But if you bring others up to places they could reach, then your rewards they be much more than you could earn in a week, and you're protecting. There you go. Yep. Your reward will be much more than you can earn in a week. I also just love the fact that, like, I think the song so far is just about loving yourself mm -hmm. and to chase your dream unapologetically and live your and go for your passions is one of the greatest forms of loving yourself because it can be very scary. It could be super intimidating to do something mm -hmm. like that. But if you have, if you love yourself so much so that you can muster up the courage to actually do it, that is one of the greatest forms of loving yourself or self-love. So I really love where this track is going. And I love the message to support yourself. Potential has no bounds, please take it from me. That's why I swear you can fly if you don't even leave. Oh, be yourself and you'll be okay. I know this life can be tough. But a smile, it's just a button away. Press play, we just won't touch. Whenever my sky turns to gray, life starts getting too much. I turn on that tune out, I love this music so much. I'll be the Liverpool syllable killer, the blood. Ooh, my man Let's bring is, that back. Let's bring that back. Let's, let's bring that back. My, my, man is, my man is, my man is chopping, chopping up syllables. The blood spiller. Spitting the rhythm, spitting the rhythm. He said, what did he say? Yeah, lyrical syllable, lyrical, lyrical syllable, blood spiller. He said, blood spiller, it's lyrical syllable, blood spiller. Spitting the rhythm. He said, spitting, spit, spitting the rhythm. So far in that cloud that I could see dust stars. And when I'm spitting the rhythm, precisionally take it much. Spitting the rhythm, precisionally, precisionally. Ooh. Spitting the rhythm, precisionally. Yeah. Spitting the rhythm, precisionally. Spitting the rhythm, precisionally. Spitting the rhythm, precisionally. Yeah, yeah, he's really cutting those syllables up. I really love it. And what I really love about people who cut up syllables is when people can cut up syllables and make it sound clean, clean, smooth, smooth. so you can understand what they're saying mm -hmm. and it just doesn't sound like... <laughs> I love uh, I love when when people are making feel good music that's like sonically very musical, but at the same time they rap it. Yeah, he's rapping. He's rapping. He's, he said, "I'll be up so high in the clouds that I can see the stars." Mm. You know what I mean? He said, "He said, I think I'll be like the baddest, so I'm the Godfather, or something like that." I don't know, but let's get back to it. Refreshing. That was like that was like that was like the perfect appetizer song. You know what I mean? That was yeah. just like like something light. You know, like like you know when you go to a restaurant mm -hmm. and you want like the perfect appetizer and it's nothing that's gonna fill you up 
for the main course mm -hmm. something that's just going to be super light super nice something to start you off you know what i mean but it tastes really good exactly like you know like a, uh like a like go to an indian restaurant and just get a samosa just one samosa, one samosa. as an open as an appetizer one samosa and you will be set for your meal right and it's just the perfect way quick what's your favorite perfect appetizer leave it in the comments this song was the perfect appetizer. Yep, love music part one. I gotta say, it was wonderful. It made me feel good. It reminded me just to be myself, trust in myself, mm. and everything is gonna be all right. You know, I gotta agree with you. This song really just reaffirmed myself and my journey and that I'm on the right path and I should just continue to do what I love despite the fear, despite the doubt, because honestly, that's what life is all about, and that's what loving yourself is about. So I guess Love Music Part 1 just showed me or reaffirmed that it's important to love myself by doing this. And there's three more parts, supposedly. Mm. So looks like we got ourselves a love journey. Got ourselves a love journey. Well, I liked it. Please, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and yeah. check out our music. You might like it. All right. Well, I'm Trix the Hooligan. I'm Jules the Buddha Monk. And we are Straw Hat Dynasty, your favorite rapping, breaking twins from NYC. Peace. Peace.